What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilla, Gazooka Milligan, and the Villa Gazooka again. We're back on Dongan Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last episode, I have no clue. I mean, I recorded it literally yesterday, but I don't remember what happened last episode. So we're not gonna even worry about that. We're gonna see when we get in. Yeah, last episode, Sakura, we, we did the class trial. Turned out Sakura killed herself. And now Kyoko wants to meet at the data center, I think. Something regarding um, Sakura's last words. I made my way into the after hours school and headed for the data center on the fourth floor. Oh, my audio's good. All right, fire. Eventually, I wound up at the data center, but when I arrived, Kyoko's not here? That's weird. She said she'd meet me. Is she maybe inside already? Put my hand up to the door with a certain amount of force. It didn't open. I tried again, but... It must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor. What's this? Oh, uh -huh. what are you doing up? What are you... Oh, what are you doing up? Oh my, I'm so stupid. Oh, uh -huh. what are you doing up, mister? Oh, crap. Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Oh, well, I just... You're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But... I can see that you don't! Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see for myself! It looked like you might break in any second, so I thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you gonna try to tell me you were sleepwalking or something? No, nothing like that. It's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud. Even I get tired, you know? Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Uh, Just a second. Why are you out here making a racket? Kyoko. Uh, now you too. You guys? Whatever, the two of you, just get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted from the class trial. It's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto, let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on. Shall we go? Don't worry about it. Let's just go. All right. <gasps> yeah, yeah! Go on out of here! Shoo, shoo! That boy hiding something. So we left and went back to our rooms. And then... Goodbye. So goodbye. Hold on! Listen, what was that all about just now? She woke me up, made me go to the data center, which just so happened to be locked. And then she shows up late and we leave without checking a single thing. What was the point of all that? <sighs> Don't worry about it. I figured that would be the end of our conversation, just like always, but... Goodbye. Well then, good night. Sure. And then that was over. But as I turned to leave... Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> Kyoko was right next to me again, whispering into my ear. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. It's a 16th student? Maybe I should have kept going a little bit more last time. Oh, that's nice. No, that's not nice! That's alter ego! Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Man. Watch out for her. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we would be faced with another murder. Three days before the worst thing so far would have revealed itself.
Oh man, that was smooth. Hold up. In the meantime, the day after the suck sucker is class trial, that morning in the dining hall. Hmm. So, let's begin the usual post trial investigation. Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never just get straight to the point like that. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Uh. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well? He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think anyway. Good. Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like a mouse. But the mastermind's pride, pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. In the name of my family. Okay. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Huh? Hey, Tucko, you've been pretty quiet. <gasps> Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. I'm gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. <laughs> Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. What? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. I don't care. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this is a small talk Byakuya warned us against. Come on. And yet I let myself get involved. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouths and start moving your legs. Pressured by an obviously irritated Byakuya, we all started our exploration. He seems a lot cooler. A lot chiller and calmer now. Before anything, let's go in here. I want to play the mono 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 machine. Toko would probably like that, little masochist. What? So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us. And it's totally different from all the floors we've seen till now. For some reason it feels unpleasant. How you doing? Um... This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. I'm following Hey, Kyoko. What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Mikuro Ikusaba, the 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. How does she find out? Kyoko, I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up at the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that whatever it was, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on that on information that could be important? So then. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. Just like usual, I didn't understand anything better than before. That's my bestie. Parkinson's pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. More Monokuma coins to gamble with! Oh, I love gambling. Bunch of wooden lockers here. Wooden lockers and keys remind me of a super old public bathhouses. Probably for TSR practice. Oh, cherry blossoms. 
Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here and it's in full bloom. Hey. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese style scenery is refreshing. Considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? What's this? Why is this open? That's hot. Yo. First I thought I saw blue skies, but turns out it just painted the walls and the ceiling. You know? Uh, but the plants are all real. Been a while since I smelled vegetation to help me relax. What the heck? It's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface. Beneath their calm exterior, they're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore, the end is nigh. they'll put their plan for global human extinction in action. Well? I'm serious. I never want to hear this man talk again. Some kind of control panel set near the wall. Let's control the air conditioning or something. It's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers. <laughs> yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7:30. Don't you dare change it without permission. <laughs> of course, the pa settings panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7:30 a.m. every morning. <laughs> yep, you got it. Super user friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Yes. Yes. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? I'm gonna tell everyone! <laughs> okay, thank you for that, Monokuma. I appreciate that. A chicken coop. What a chicken coop doing here? Uh, look at all those chickens. This place even has chickens, huh? Just regular chickens, right? Like they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. Seems safe. It's a chicken. It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. Yeah, let's let's leave the chicken coop. I don't. <laughs> Oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Oh, yeah, I love- Oh, yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly. Hmm. Five, you know. The number that comes after four before six. At least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops out, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the cosmos. I'm at least 30% right. Okay. It's a number of power, a refreshing number on par with hand squeeze all natural lemonade. Love me some hand squeeze all natural lemonade. Hey, I mean this ain't hand squeeze all natural lemonade, but it's, it's still it's that minute man lemonade. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. Edge, huh? What the freak is this? What is this? This thing is super weird, super creepy. Why was I supposed to get this big? Is this real? Watch out! That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it in here for some real excitement. Your heart's gonna be like, whoa, and the plants all gonna snap, and your flesh is gonna be all like, well, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. It's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. A student now hopes Peak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature. The ultimate botanist. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. Actually. By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, and even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Wow. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. Not that I know anything about that myself. Spotting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance.
I imagine somebody eventually I imagine somebody eventually gets fed to that thing just to be sure I should take a look in that tool shed this place seems totally disorganized from a lawnmower to fertilizer flower pots to farm tools I think it gets the back wall is that a pickaxe Crazy diamond! There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond? I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. I have no clue. Lawn mower here. Even with this, that's gonna take care of the lawn. Yeah, I don't recall seeing anything about a crazy diamond. I like the way everything falls into place. That's like, that's, that's so cool to me. Let me check out these classrooms. There might be something in here worthwhile. Might be something in here worth looking at. Huh, does she want to talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? Is she trying to say something? I think she's almost just a little more and I might get it. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. She just let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad, I guess she gave up. Dang. That's sad, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Byakuya, why did you make her? Why'd you do that to her? Let that girl talk. Let her say what she needs to say. Oh! Huh. This, uh. Huh. Th this is, uh. She's interesting. Uh. What is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled, it was sour, pungent, impossibly rank. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? It's, it must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Are you saying <laughs> it's the smell of death? They're flesh and flat and they're flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right. I had experienced the smell more than once before. There was the smell of death and despair. Hmm. But the smell here is strong and condensed. It's like the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have. What? My fault again? Stop trying to blame everything on me. If you hadn't done what you did, this would have never happened. No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite. Now then. Yep, let me give you an itty bitty, easy squeegee little hint. As far as this room goes, <laughs> I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those mean old RPGs. Uh -oh. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody, gruesome deaths every day. I can't wait! So I it's can't not wait. really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. What's he talking about? He just left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of all this? White chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of thing with detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. Wish I could say I don't believe it. There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly sight. Hmm. It appears all the blood stains are dry. And their color has changed as well. I think it's safe to say these stains are considerably old. This is all really blood? Hmm. Of course. I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> and it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way I can keep up with someone like that. 
Byakuya, about what Monokuma just told us. It's like I'm not even here. He must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard or is he just flat out ignoring me? I guess leave. What the heck? Raw. Yeah, we finna do it. We finna get it raw. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. Came all this way just to be denied here. The sign in the hall says Biolab. A Biolab that we're forbidden from seeing into. Kinda sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. Once again, nothing I've found seems to make any real sense. We can head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. One after another, everyone made their way into the dining hall. And before too long, it would appear everyone has returned. Ah, uh, but still, it's just six of us. That's barely good enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second. Hey, don't be a shower puss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team. Hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Alrighty, Byakuya, you go first so I can get you out the way. Hmm. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, <laughs> no. Strange is a massive understatement. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What, what, what are you talking about? Hmm. The smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody smelled concentrated. Huh? God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna bark just hearing you describe it. But... But I mean, what happened in that room? So in other words... I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. <laughs> a, a bunch of people were killed in there. Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. It can't be. Perhaps that's what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? <laughs> You're thinking the same thing then. My theory is the mass murder that took place in that room is is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room, that was the tragedy that happened a year ago? In other words. Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body at Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true. It's all clear now. That would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless, but still. How was it not one of us heard any heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Uh <clears throat> Uh, hey Byakuya, it seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, I've forgotten about that. <laughs> Jesus, man, I know you love torturing her, but come on. <laughs> well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. <laughs> you, you honor me, master. <laughs> and don't worry, I took care of the odor problem. <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna take it? <laughs> Shut up and don't interrupt when mastering me to talking! Um... Okay, so what did you want to tell us? <laughs> oh, well, I was in the classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. <sighs> it was this. A knife? Oh. oh, that thing is huge, just like Rambo size! What? It's a survival knife of some type. <laughs> but what is it doing in a classroom? <laughs> How would I know? Very suspicious. What are you going to use that knife for? What are you planning to do to us? 
I'm not gonna do anything. I just picked it up. I don't want to leave a knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. <laughs> don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. <sighs> Listen, more important. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? You know? We can't let Togo keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyway, it's too dangerous. Hmm, <laughs> so what to do? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. Then that's that. Hold on, don't I get a say? It's all clear now. It just shows how much they trust you. You should do what they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> okay, so here you go, Makoto. You're acting like I already said yes. Fine. This is nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. <sighs> anyway, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> hey, Toko. <laughs> ah! Do, do I still have bad breath? Sorry, 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 I'm sorry, it stinks, I'm sorry, it stinks, I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. <laughs> Did Master just praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you. <laughs> I'm dreaming! I must be dreaming! Ah, <laughs> uh, that I would ever experience such a dream. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. I feel strange. Ah, so strange. Really strange. Oh no. Ah, ah, ah. What? Whenever I look at Togo these days, it just makes me feel sad. That was something, huh? Okay. You know? Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found one more thing to be worried about: a stupidly large plant. A chicken coop, and I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. Monokuma said that was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. For serious? It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's a different. It's different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. A pro Mario reference? Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 on the dot. Hmm. Yeah, I remember that. You don't want to get drenched to catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have anything to worry about. They say idiots never catch colds, you know? <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. I think you're thinking of ducks. Hmm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on, you don't always have to call me dumb. I may, be, I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. Uh, what was the question again? Uh. Don't worry, you just answered it. Freaking idiot, bro. Actually stupid. Yeah. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor front to back. That used to be Sakura's job, but mm. anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. So, um... But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Why do you ask? So then. Because if you did, you must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Stairs? Are you talking? Yeah, I knew it. Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. Hm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But... But that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out. No matter what it takes. Kyoko! Hey. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor we couldn't access. Hmm. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? If this were like a cliche horror game, it'd be some kind of 
final boss or tyrant. Resident Evil reference. Is that what it's called? That's what it's called, right? Tyrant? That's what it's called, isn't it? I'm doubting myself. Yeah, it's called Tyrant. But... We're not in a horror game, though. Hmm. Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well... I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No, how I said it is right, too. Ah, freaking goofball. Oh, what now? I already talked to everybody. Who's left? Hmm. I already talked to him. That strange floor, on the, that strange room on the fifth floor. We can only assume that a large number of people died in that room. So the mass murder that took place in that room is an incident said to have happened one year ago. In other words... Perso oh my goodness. Yeah, we already went through this. Who have I not talked to yet? I talked to Kyoko, didn't I? Hey. Yeah, I talked to Hina, right? Yeah. Okay, I, I talked to him. You know? Oh, I gotta go through all of these. There were a bunch of chickens in a chicken coop, right? Mm. That's right, five. Five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat, then we can make fried chicken. Oh, a barbecue. Decisions, decisions. Uh. Oh, or how about raw? There's nothing fresher than raw, right? I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. You know? They're both idiots. What the heck? You notice it too, huh? That pickaxe? What? Huh? What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed. And the words crazy diamond had been carved into the handle. Hadn't, hadn't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Crazy diamond? Huh, yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I don't just think, I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Huh? Where? Oh, that's it, I remember! It was on Mondo's uniform, on the back of his jacket. He said his, ja his jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond? I see. You're absolutely right. Hmm. But why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Could it be? Mondo must have snuck in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here and Mon Monokuma confiscated it. Whatever the reason is, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Then what did? Yo. What I noted, what I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. Huh? What? How are you gonna call for help with a lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know. Maybe we can use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. Well. Then we can use it to those to call for help. Hmm. What the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know. You know. Well, back then, my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. Oh. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm even more disappointed in you than I've ever been. Hmm. Well, I think that's all the new information we have now. Yo! So, what are we gonna do? Hmm. Well, starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way! Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. So what is it you want to figure out? Hmm. Kyoko's identity. Dang, right? Sue it. Huh? Well... Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko is Kyoko, right? <laughs> yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro. Hero's the ultimate clairvoyant. Even Makoto was an ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but... So what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Uh, um... Now that you mention it, she never told us. Hmm. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. 
It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Huh? What? Why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? What do you mean? So... Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is very suspicious. Y you can't be serious, right, can you? <sighs> I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However... But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us. And I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What are you gonna do, torture me? Hm. Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options. Just give up. Give me the key to your room. But if she gives you the key to her room key, she can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking the school regulation. Hmm. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. And it's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Yo, just hold on. A threat like that. That's fine. Fine, I understand. Hmm. Good, you're finally in the mood for conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakuya and held out her room key to him. It can't be. You fool! Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, um... Maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um... If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would fit right in. However... The worst school where only the worst things happen? Do you really mean that? Huh? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has only has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Come on. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound that could, the only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What the heck? What's her deal? What? I think you went too far taking her room key like that. <laughs> For her, it wasn't far enough. <gasps> or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. Stop talking. You're getting noisy. You're getting noisy again, Toko. Come on. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of you breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on you. Hey. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but... What's Coco gonna do now? Plus, the situation, it's just like before. It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I, I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. Ah! What? What? Uh, um... What? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause, I mean... C Cause, look! Oh. Hello. What? What? It's you! How long you been standing there? I'm very, very... Now angry! Angry! <laughs> angry at what? At the thief! Yeah, that's right! I'm very sad to tell you, but there's a thief in your midst! Huh? What? Hey. My precious! They stole it! Your precious? Your teacher had such faith in you. And this is how you repay me with betrayal? Reality is filled with such hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Um... What the heck is your precious? Shut up! 
I don't bother you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the street. What the heck? What is he yapping about? And he's gone. What the heck was that all about? So, um... He says something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? Hmm. It likely has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it and why did she do it? Shut up! Um... Uh-oh, we need to get out of here. You know? We could talk about this more tomorrow and about Kyoko. Hm. However, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms, don't go wandering around. Well... I like we need you to tell us that. Goodbye. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Oh, that's right. I need to put away this knife I got from Toko. I think the safest place for it will be in my desk drawer. But anyway, is Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't get into her room. What is she going to do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... Huh? As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I hear the doorbell? Who is it, Kyoko? Hey, Kyoko! Hey. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Hey, what? Kyoko! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but I can't just not go. I mean, yes, Kyoko, you, you do what she tells you to do. No question about it. You do what she says. Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Correct. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean... Does this have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. What did you steal? So... I stole this. A key. But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? So... From the headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? However... The lock was broken. What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her note? I'm not gonna just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us. That's right. That's right. So we can uncover whatever secrets may lie hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why. I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you at the data center in order to... Correct. Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then, what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Did you find out about this Mikuro Ikusaba while you were in there? Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mikuro Ikusaba is dangerous. 
dangerous. In other words, she may very well be the mastermind. M mastermind? B but didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt that I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mikuro Ikusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway. Anyway, this key is one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's the key even unlocked? So... I don't know yet, which is why. I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go find out. Wait, so you're planning this on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous! And you want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us... Is that right? But they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Hey. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're gonna run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what we may have, which is what may have just been a lucky guess, would be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Hey. If it's true that the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would be a, there will have to be a period of time where the mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward is, the risk is just too high. When I think about what might happen if we fail, why is that? I don't think you need to worry about worry all that much after all. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I could tell. But if the Mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove the hypothesis. What? Correct. In a moment of crisis, will the Mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words... In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it, right? But... If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger. But if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead and the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel and I wouldn't if I could. And Kyoko took something out of her coat pocket and held it out to me. What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet, only open it. If something ever happens to me. If something happens. However. I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it. And a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it. Just because you asked me to. But I'm gonna give it back at some point, you can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because there's a chance the Mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? Well... It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I can't just forget that easy. So then... Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time 
was a sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's gonna be fine, I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself, I helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. I'm scared. If something happens to Kyoko, I'll cry. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out of here! I got a bone to pick with you! Then a few moments later... Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out. Hey, hey! Hey, by the way... Huh? Most suspicious. What were you and Kyoko up to going into the bathhouse? Just the two of you, in the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm. I bet you guys removed to conform with local and international censorship laws. Oh, oh no, what? Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation, far away from it. X-rated and exploits. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Wow. Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anywhere? It sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went through all that trouble to get me out here. Now what do you want? Oh, well, um, Sheldon wanted to confirm with you. Say what? Whether I'm a... Mademoiselle or a dude fella? Actually... But in the bear kingdom, there is no male or female. What? Um, actually there is. What? Seriously? My entire existence. Then what am I? My entire existence. This is kind of That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me! You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or your assigned breeding tips? This is just crazy. Are all pubescent teens, teen boys as nutty as you? What the heck? God, you're so annoying. I'll tell you, it was a key and a... Whatever that is. That's it! What was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid, a secret. Fill it in yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that. Ugh, I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open your skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Ooh. Hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? Went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. by Spike Junsoft Company Limited. What's that on the screen? What the heck? Oh, this looks cool. What is, what is, I'm not really following what's going on. Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been canceled. Of course, if enough people buy Danganronpa, who knows? So buy copies for- Ah! What the freak was that? This super stylish, super fashionable game was canceled during development? 
But it'll start back up again if Duncan Rumpa sells well. Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends, too. All right. Good morning, everyone. Get ready. My body feels so heavy this morning. Must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. All right, this should be when the daily life thing starts. So, shut up. Daily life starts. So, hey, that's the end of this episode. Peace out. I love you guys. I don't know what the freak that was, but I mean, it looked cool. So I guess whatever. Peace out. I love you guys. Tap in the next episode.